Good early morning on St. Patrick's Day. We are so glad you're here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow or the next day. We're celebrating early at Fiddler's Green, Irish Pub and Eatery. I'm joking. It's eight in the morning. Now, if we're in Chicago, the pub would probably be open. But not here. I'm going for a quick morning run, get some fresh air, get back on the roads with my shoes. Um, should be a fun day. Here's a very quiet, peaceful St. Patrick's Day morning. Seen a lot of like municipality workers out. So thank you for working in this hard time. Surprised you're still working, but we haven't gone that far yet. But I think all of these flowers up and down Park Avenue, that's what they're replacing. Like they're getting this, the springier ones in. I gotta head home. I got two more miles to run. Then I gotta get ready for work. I forgot that I have to work late tonight. I'll explain more about that later, but like I don't have to work fully this morning because I work really late. So we'll have to like mix in work with St. Patrick's Day home festivities. So we'll have to get creative there, but we like getting creative. Welcome to the vlog, Sarah. Thanks. You had a great run today. And I divulged into a very busy morning for both yeah. of us. Um, the vlog is up though. That's, yes. that's, it hasn't been up this early in a while. Um, but we're about to go vote for Bernie Sanders and... Go look for Irish soda bread real look quick. For Irish soda bread well, and... here, we'll preface. We need to go out for a few essential items that probably yes. I'll only go to the grocery store. Yes, I'm gonna stay in the car. But we're gonna go to a Whole Foods and fingers crossed that they will also have it's Irish soda bread to continue yes. the St. Patrick's Day celebration. So kind of celebrate? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Yes. All right. I think my wannabe pathetically growing beard works today with this hat. Um, but yeah, we're going to go vote. We're going to go to the grocery store and then have to return because it turned into... I, I said earlier in the vlog that I was going to work late. I talked to my boss. He's going to handle that testing of late night work and so I don't have to. So I'm working normal hours today. But... Our resorts changed operational things, and it's been a crazy morning in my realm. So funny thing about Peter's beard is that there's little non-brunette hairs, which is funny because my dad's beard was totally red. My dad was blonde like me. But are these blonde or are they red? Are they gray? I don't know. There's just like not enough of them. But our children, I'm trying. Our children might have red hair. So the thing about Florida and everything going on with Corona, it's so nice outside though. So nice. I hope people vote. Yeah. I hope if you still have the chance to vote, you'll vote. Well, I I would have wished that they would have postponed this. Yeah. But, but they're not. And like we're gonna like change our clothes when we get home. We're gonna like hardcore wash. Our doctor friend gave us all the guidelines yes. of what we should do. But it's just so important, and I hope that people vote. We're all good and done. We got bread. I didn't check the ingredients. Oh, we insulate. We're good. Perfect. I love. I love that sticker. I like how it's, sticker? it's Orange County. And there's the Castle Fountain Volcano Bay. Is that I, Volcano? I think it is. I feel like we didn't vote in a. Did we vote in a primary before? I feel like we had to vote, but I feel like we. Yeah, but not it was here. very like that's super specialized to yeah. just this area. I and love I love that. the green and the orange. Yeah. The perfect soundtrack after voting in the United States primary. Hamilton. Florida State primary. Florida State primary. But an important primary. Oh yeah. Here we go, Whole Foods. Fingers crossed that we get some good stuff going down here. Looking for Toilet paper, some other essentials, and St. Patrick's Day festivities since we're here. Got it, got it, got it, and hopefully this bag doesn't snap like last time. Things have gotten exciting here as the day ends, work day ends here at um, St. Patrick's Day. As I was finishing up a conference call, the power went out, 
and it's out in the whole building. So somebody else was calling our landlord to be like, hey, what's going on? And now I'm on hold with Ethos because we're going to grab dinner from Ethos Takeout. But I'm on hold, but I, there's no hold music. I don't know. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? I'd like to place an order for takeout. Whoa, that's sunny. Looking up, they placed the order, so it'll be ready in 20 minutes. So I'll leave in like 15 minutes to go pick it up. Sarah fell asleep on the couch while I was on my conference call, so she's waking up. Um, hopefully the power comes back soon because... <laughs> It's hot, and we're <laughs> supposed to be in social distancing. Maybe we, when I go get the food and come back, maybe we take even a walk and do a little picnic outside somewhere if the power's not back. See that? The power is back on. Thank goodness. Peter's probably been gone for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I still, like, I fell asleep hard on the couch. You know when, like, you have pillow marks on your face? That's where I'm at right now. Um, I think that's all I had to say, except for I did ask Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m. So every time our power goes out, our Wi-Fi gets all crazy. And um, for some reason, I'm not good at getting that back situated. I don't know what happened. I used to be so tech-savvy as a child. Um... And now I have to rely on Peter. And my phone actually died while the power was out. So we just gotta wait for Peter. <laughs> what the heck? I spoke too soon. See the fan slowing back down? It's out again. Alrighty, and just before Peter got home. Oh, a little messy. <laughs> my calzone. He did not go with the Irish theme. I'm not a big fake meat person, and I just wasn't feeling it. But we did get a Reuben for Sarah. Woohoo! Okay, okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Which one's this? Mashed potatoes and gravy for Sarah? <laughs> not for you. Here's potato leek soup for you. Potato leek soup? Yeah, it was this Irish special of the day. And then, oh. the mother load. Garlic knots. These are going to be gone in four seconds. All of it's going to be gone. They're toying with our emotions today. The power's back out. Just as much as we are toying with Eve's emotions for not giving her any of the food. All right, so we did our shot. Mm -hmm. Eve took a nap. I think she's done. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> she's so cute. I think we're going to watch Quiet Man now. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Eve? Yeah, she loves you. I think we're going to watch Quiet Man to, to finish off the St. <laughs> Patty's Day celebrations. You're so cute. Um, I can't handle this. Stop staring at me. All right, we're going to watch Quiet Man. She's unreal. She's not real. She's a figment of our imagination. I tell you, I tell you, the best movie in the land. One of the movies got an end sequence as good as this. My hat here, we got from Raglan Road, from the Quiet Man collection. We finished Quiet Man. The night's coming to an end, but I forgot that I was in the middle of doing something for work when the internet got lost. So I'm running one of my little programs. I can show you like this much of it. See this right here, it's executing a bunch of commands. One by one. So I just gotta let this run until it's done with the list. Where's that next? Oh, there it is. Those X's popping up with a little program. I feel like I've been in the same spot the entire vlog. <laughs> um, I have moved. Um, we put it on Frozen 2. And Some Things Never Change is a great song for the times of uncertainty. Um, we did have a question come up in our messages asking if we could give some tips and tricks about working from home because I work from home all the time and a lot of people now are experiencing that and um, so tomorrow's video we're gonna do some of that in the morning while we're at work and hopefully it'll help anyone who's feeling a little weary about being home 
for some time. Humdrum is the proper word. Humdrum, or is it humbug? This St. Patrick's Day. This St. Patrick's Day. I ate way too much food. Put a comment down below what you did on your St. Patrick's Day. Second column for the month. It's going by fast. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Seneca. I feel like we've had that one before. Seneca. Pro tip, these tortilla chips from the dollar store are so good and we eat a lot of tortilla chips. Today's video is sponsored by Run Disney. Who or knows? not because they haven't reached out at all about the Star Wars half. I think they'll go virtual. I'm just going to mail everybody their medals. They they're going to the jewel, and I was like, I wish, because they have Irish soda bread. The good Irish soda bread, not this Whole Foods nonsense. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm getting cabin fever. You told me earlier you were fine. Who's celebrating St. Joseph's Day on Thursday? Put those shoes out, get the candy. <laughs> St. Nicholas. Oh. St. Joseph, you wear red. Get the red out. Eat your noodles. Alrighty. Tomorrow, another home vlog. It's maybe, good to be home. Maybe we'll go for a walk tomorrow. We've been going for walks, but like a real good one. Like at Ivanhoe Lake. Yes. Or Botanical Garden or like Yola. Maybe we bring Eve no matter where we go. She looks exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. Like... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Eve, you look like the dog from Isle of Dogs. She looks like a fox. Foxy Grandpa. Foxy Grandpa! We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.